Hi guys, welcome to another session on Big Data Technologies. Today let's learn about Microsoft's Azure SQL Server Database. It is Microsoft's version of cloud-based SQL Server Database. Just like all other cloud-based database offerings, Azure SQL Server Database is highly available, reliable, and scalable solution from Microsoft. In this video, let's create a Azure SQL Server Database and explore the connectivity options. To get started happily, Microsoft offers a generous $200 credit on Azure Cloud Computing. Let's search for Azure Trial Account. We'll go to the first one. So you just click on Get Started for free and then register with your Hotmail or any other account. I used my Hotmail account. I'll now sign into my portal or Azure Dashboard. So I go to portal.azure.com and it gets redirected to my dashboard. Microsoft has been great at creating very user-friendly and nice interfaces and it's really easy to get started. So let's go to new. Although there are plenty of ways, you can also go to resource groups or you can go to SQL Server to create the same thing. So I go here and create on, click on databases, SQL database. I give it a name and I want it to be a free trial. I'm going to create a new resource group called uh, Big Data Test Group. And I want to have a, yeah, let's say, let's take blank. And the server, I want to create a new server for this. Since this uh, server name is going to be my connection string, I'll give it a Big Data technologies and it needs to be a unique name so username i will give sanjay they have a lot of data centers let me choose canada central although you should be choosing a location which is geographically closer to you i'm just choosing canada want to use sql elastic pool not now and what kind of uh, server you want I don't need so much. This is just sufficient. I'll just apply. I'm pretty much ready and I want this to be pinned to my dashboard. I'll hit on create. Deployment is in progress. Updates. Yes. The deployment succeeded and our database is created. By default, Microsoft uh, replicates my data into three different nodes uh, so that even if they have to patch some updates on the databases, they'll start off with one of them and uh, you will still be able to access your data. That way, 99.99% of the time, your data will be available. I'm not going to go into a replication and other uh, settings that I could do, but uh, uh, let's focus on making use of this database and uh, and creating some data and check out the connectivity options. There are many ways to get connected to the newly created database. Let's explore a couple of them. The very first one that I would like to show it to you guys is interface that is provided by Microsoft Azure itself. So here is our database. I will go to tools and query editor. Here, very first thing I have to do is login. So I select SQL Server Authentication and I give the password. So I'm authenticated, I'm good to go. So I will, the very first thing I'll do is create a table as our database is empty. Let's create a table called CPT codes. It'll have CPT code as integer and CPT description as varchar of 2000 characters. Let's run this. All right, so it is created. Now let's insert one record into this. Next I'll create a, maybe I'll save this query so that I can sh share with you guys. Next, I'll create an insert statement. Since these are very long names, I'll just create one record. That should be it. All right, we created one record. Let's list it out. Select star from CPT codes. All right, we have our data. I'll save this query for future reference. All right, it's a SQL file. Looks great. 
this web based query editor is not so flexible and robust so let's connect to the same database using our on premise tools such as uh, let's say ssms or sql server management studio before i switch to ssms i need the connection string so let me get that first i go back to your sql database i click it to copy this is going to be our connection string now I launch my SSMS and I paste the server name and login is Sanjay and I enter my password and it says sign in into Microsoft Azure. Give me signed in. I'll add this client IP address so that it remembers me and it will not ask me this again. Okay, and it's good to go. Simple as that. Let's explore the databases and see if we have our CPT codes table with one record that we created. I do see that table. Yep, we have our data here. As with rest of the Microsoft tools, connectivity between the tools is very easy. Next one I would like to show you is the connectivity from Visual Studio. So let's fire up Visual Studio. And we'll go to Server Explorer, create a new database connection. And here we'll paste our connection string again and it is a SQL Server authentication. And I'll let it save it. And the database is for Big Data Tech. And it's created here. You can explore the table, right click and show the data. I'll pin this, okay, there we have our data. All right, so you can use it in rest of the Visual Studio related tools. With this, I would like to wrap up this session here. At first, we created our Microsoft Azure SQL Server database. We created a table and inserted some data using Azure's query editor. Then we saw the connectivity to SSMS. After that, we also saw how do we get connected to Visual Studio. Hope this session was useful and you learned something. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated with the latest additions to this channel. Thank you.